early morning float fishing session, baby. Check that out for a bite. Forgot the sand deal, so I had to ride all the way home. I'll see you at the spot, guys. A good old baguette and coffee from the shop. And all I'm going to do is watch the sun come up and eat my food. Happy days. Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's seriously early in the morning, the sun's just coming up. We're going float fishing. Stay tuned, hopefully we can get some mullet or even some garfish. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Check that out for a beautiful morning. I love it this time of the day. The water's still quite shallow at the moment, but I'm hoping we can sneak out a little mullet. So we'll see how we go. We're going to be fishing till high tide or maybe even an hour after. So we've got about four or five hours. Hopefully we can load up on some fish. Beautiful. I'm after pretty much anything today. I want garfish or mullet. But if we catch a little pollock or anything like that, it'd be great. But the primary species are garfish and mullet. The, the idea, if you're targeting mullet, I'd go more towards bread and not too much fish oil. But if you're going for garfish, put quite a bit of fish oil in. It brings them all in and hopefully catch some fish. I'm gonna chum quite heavy at the start, just to see if we can get any fish just to stick around. And hopefully, get those fish, baby. What I'm using today, guys, just for the garfish, I've just got a small pencil float, small weight, and then I've got about a two and a half foot trace of eight pound fluorocarbon to a tiny little hook. I've, I don't even know what size that is, maybe a size eight. Uh, and what I like to do, because these are sort of circular, they, they hook the garfish right in the corner of the mouth. And same as the uh, mullet as well. So all I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put a little bit of sand eel on. Just a small piece. And just see if there's any garfish around. And if I see any mullet flash up, I'll quickly change the float to a mullet float. And we'll see if we can catch him. I haven't got a net either, so it's going to be fun. But we got steps next to us, so we might be able to grab him. So there you go. That's my bait. Let's get it in the water. This is what you call a relaxing fishing session. Just watching the birds go by, the sun's coming up. And hopefully that float disappears. <laughs> Location number two. We've got our chum here. The good thing about this spot, I can ride the bike straight here. <laughs> so I'm going to chuck some chum out. I'm going to get some fresh stuff mixed up and hopefully we can find those fish. The other spot was absolutely dead. First fish of the day. I literally just threw my mullet rod out. And there we go. Got our first gar fish. That's what we want to see. Got first fish down. I brought the big bucket with me today because I need as many garfish as I can get. So every year when these come in, what I do is I stock up on bait because these are very valuable bait. So I stock up on as many as I can because these come in by the thousands. There's no shortage of garfish in Guernsey, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna stock up on bait and hopefully we get enough to last the winter float's gone under. Come on, do it again. Oh, I missed him. Missed him that time. <laughs> oh, he's back. There we go. We got him. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Always good fun a bit along those bashing. You get a lovely bit of sport out of it. You can see him jumping out the water there. Almost like little mini marlin. It's not a bad one, that. Number two of the day. Starting to build them up. I've got my mullet float down here, just in case any mullet come through. It's got a nice big chunk of bread on. And then I'm just long nose fishing in the meantime. And hopefully, we get a big beast coming. 
Come on, round three. My float's bobbing up and then to the side. Let's see if we can get in. Yeah, we got him. Fish on. <laughs> Come on. Yeet them in, baby. They're starting to come in. We're, we're getting towards high tide. I think we've got two hours to high water. They're definitely coming in thick and fast now. Something's playing with it. <laughs> Haven't seen any mullet yet. The good thing about this spot, you're over the top of them, so you'll see them swim through. Come on, does he want it? Fish on. I didn't even know I had this one on. <laughs> All I've seen is the float go completely sideways out the corner of my eye. And that there is probably the biggest one of the day. <laughs> Surprising. I've put the mullet float out with a bit of sand deal on now, just trying to gather up a few garfish. I haven't seen any mullet yet. Fish on the mullet float. Come on, where are you? Yeah, we're in. On the mullet float. <laughs> this is only six pound line on here. We have a great fight. Soft action rod. We've got the mini marlins. Come on. <laughs> Such good fun this is. Reminds me of being a kid again. Slaying a load of garfish, getting some pot bait, and we'll even do a nice cook up because garfish are actually quite tasty. But you need some pretty big ones to eat. There we go. Another one down. I do dispatch them as I go. I bend the neck back, but obviously I don't show that on YouTube. We've definitely got the shoal coming in now. I've only just put this rod out, about to bait my other one. And we're straight back in. Another garfish. Nice. <laughs> it's a sleigh fish, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Both floats are under. And we can power it. Yeah, that's a better one. Feels a bit bigger. The other float's completely gone under the water. Come on, two at a time, baby, two at a time. Any day of the week. <laughs> Got a big boat coming in. It's a travel trident. What a lovely boat. This takes you to Herm. Nice. Let's get some more chum in the water. I think the fish might be a little bit scared. Got a fish, baby. Coming in thick and fast, these garfish now. Certainly in. We've got two floats catching one after the other. <laughs> 
coming through thick and fast now, eh? Yeah. One after the other, I'm going to drop to one rod in a minute. It's a bit too many, eh? It is constant fish at the moment. This is what happens every year. And a lot of the lads come down here and start loading up some pot bait. And you can see they're really easy to catch. Just little slivers of sand eel, really small hooks. Easy fishing and very fun. Good old oily chum bucket. And now I'm gonna wash the fish. now guys I'm gonna go sort for all the garfish so I'll see you in the shed and we're going for a nice cook up baby what a sesh that was always good fun the old uh, garfish fishing bit of float fishing no mullet but hey we still had a laugh <laughs> 